Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys coming by the channel to spend some time with me on the video today. Always grateful for that. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about uh, two different type of crankbaits for off-colored water, a blueback chartreuse model and a blackback chartreuse model. And we're gonna be talking about when you wanna use a blueback and when you wanna use a blackback in today's video because it makes a lot of difference under the right conditions. Definitely will add up to some more fish if you know when to, to choose which over the other. Um, also guys, for get started, just a quick invitation out there. You guys have heard me talking about our fish the moment lake map breakdowns. We got all of our fall maps ready to go up on the site. Um, these are breakdowns I build myself for fishthemoment.com. It's a really good resource to learn more about your favorite lake or a lake you've never been on. So I'll include the uh, fish the moment lake map breakdown link in the description if you wanna check them out there. Really appreciate that. Okay guys, here's my here's two of my favorite um, off-colored water crankbaits. It's the Mega Bass uh, S crank here and the Mega Bass Super Z2 crankbait. Um, also guys, I'll link both of these in my Tackle Warehouse uh, link in the description of this video. But the thing that I wanna talk about today is using these baits in off-colored water and when you wanna use a blue back and when you wanna use a black back because it makes a lot of difference. I mean, a lot of it has to do with the way the uh, bait looks in the water. It has to do with the exact water visibility, the sunlight conditions, all that type of stuff. So we'll talk a little bit about both of them. Now, first of all, let's talk about the uh, blueback chartreuse. So this has always been one of my favorite colors. Back when I very first started fishing a lot of crankbaits, the old Norman DD-22, that blueback chartreuse was one of my best colors. But in terms of a blueback over a blackback, the times that you want to use them is when the water is really dirty. There's a big difference between, um, say, water visibility that's, say, you know, 12 inches of visibility and water visibility that's, say, 6 inches. That 6-inch difference makes a huge, huge amount of difference. And you wouldn't think about it because when people say, okay, do I want, do I want, do I think the blue or the black is going to be get more bites in the dirtier water? It's been my experience, guys, that in dirty water, like dirt water that you consider really dirty, a blueback is gonna get a lot more bites. There's something about the way a blueback will glow in that dirty water that the fish just, they bite it better. And it's like when I get into water visibility of over about 12 inches, I don't catch many on the blueback. I go more to the blackback, we'll talk about here in a little bit, but a blueback is really good in dirty, dirty water, and it's also good um, let's say if you got 12 inches of visibility and you'd normally throw a black back, if it's cloudy or rainy or, or like early in the morning, the blue back's gonna get you some more bites. It just stands out more in the water. And uh, I haven't done any good on it. Like if I'm fishing in water visibility, 15, 20 inches with a sunny day, dirty water, low light conditions or rain is gonna get you a lot more bites. Now the blackback chartreuse is a little bit more versatile because it will work in, all, in dirty water. Don't get me wrong, it's like you can still catch some fish in it in the same visibilities that the blueback, but this will work in a little bit um, cleaner water. It's like, say for example, if I, if I uh, relegate the blueback into water visibility that's only like six, eight inches of visibility, the blackback is gonna take me down into that foot and a half, maybe 18 inches of visibility, simply because the black back blends in more with the water. If you run these two crankbaits, say, say for example, if you get out there and, and you know, 15 inches of visibility, and if you run these two crankbaits side to side, the black, black, the black back will blend in a lot more with that water. It's a little bit more subtle, and therefore you get more bites. Also, a black back is gonna work um, a little bit better than the blue back if you got a little bit brighter sunlight conditions, say like on the partly cloudy days or up in the day a little bit. Um, blackback is gonna definitely get you some more bites. And another thing with the blackback is um, there's variations in how bright a uh, the side is there. Some of the sides are real bright like this one. Others you can get them more translucent. So uh, like I said, a little bit more clean water condition with it. Ultimately, like I said, you have to let the fish decide what they want, but that's been sort of the, uh, you know, my guidelines like muddy water blueback, dirty water blackback, and once you get in water visibility that's sort of like uh, maybe over two foot is like the maximum I throw a chartreuse crankbait in, unless it's really rainy and low light conditions or super windy and rainy and low light conditions. For the most part, this is like that around that foot of visibility is when it works a little bit better there. So, oh, and one other thing about that, that, that this holds true a lot for the shallow crankbaits. Now for the deeper crankbaits, um, it'll work in a little bit cleaner water. Like I was talking about with the blueback chartreuse DD-22, 
it'll work in water visibilities cleaner than that. You know, three or four foot of visibility only because the bait is getting down around 15 feet. So it's darker down there. The, the light levels down 15 feet of water are a lot darker. So therefore, sometimes you can get away with that if you fish them in deeper water. So, you know what guys, hope it helps out and we'll talk later.